Hey guys, Mr. Decker here once again. We're on code.org and we're in the express unit looking at lesson 26, variables with the B. Continuing our variables quest. All right, so here we need to collect all the honey and make all the nectar. So we've got, let's see, bubble, we're on bubble run. We've got a bee here. So first he needs to make nectar get honey okay and it's in intervals so we've got three sides so i'm going to use a repeat loop we're going to do repeat three and then he needs to take action first thing he needs to do is move forward and then he's going to get nectar and then he's going to move forward again to get here and then we need to get the honey or make the honey and then he needs to turn trying to get my directions here left he needs to turn left and as long as he does that three times we should be good we got it all right let's move on to bubble two and on bubble two ooh, we've already got some code here We've got a variable set counter to two. So, okay, it says finish the code so that the bee can collect all the honey and nectar. I think what we need to do here is just throw or call this variable here, here, and here, and we should be good. So if we go to variables, we'll throw counter, 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 and then run it. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> this, the noises and sounds this makes. It gets me every time. All right, bubble three. Change the starting value of the variable so that the bee can collect all of the honey and nectar. All right, so, okay, so er there's three on all of these, so we need to change the counter to three. Run it. Pretty simple. Everything's been pretty easy so far, but these always get more challenging as you go. In this puzzle, each patch is one space further away and has one more nectar to get one more honey to make. Add one to the variable each time you go through the loop. Okay, so repeat counter, repeat counter, repeat counter. So if I change the counter at the end, after he turns left, right, one, one, turn left, two, two, turn left, three, three. So yeah, at the end of this repeat three, after the turn left, we need to change counter. So change counter by one, right there, and that should do it. Woo, all right, continue, bubble five. This puzzle follows the same pattern, but it is extended to a fourth path. Add one to the number of times the main loop repeats to continue the pattern. Okay, so do, 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 do. we added it here. Add one to the number of times to the main loop. Um, is it not already doing that? Oh, I need to put four here. Right here. I see. Okay. Let's do bubble six. All right, on bubble six, what's different this time? Oh, we're adding two to the counter each time, or needing two. So run, let's see if that works. I figured that out because there was one, three, and five here, adding two to it each time. Yep, all right. So far, these have been pretty easy. Finish the code to solve this puzzle. All right, uh, repeat how many times and then change counter by. Uh, oh, and set counter two. Hmm, okay, so we're going by two, so we'll set the counter to two. 
change that one to a two, repeat three sides, so we'll repeat three times. And then change counter by two each time because it's going up by two. So math. I, I'm realizing just now that I grabbed a number block from a different spot every time. <laughs> but it's okay. It'll work. It'll work. It'll be fine. It'll buff. Woohoo! All right. Oh, boy. Okay, now we have to create our own code to solve this puzzle. So, all right. So let's go for it, shall we? All right, so we've got three sides. We need to repeat three. But before that, I'm going to create a variable. And then a loop. We got three sides, so we'll repeat three times. And then we're going to have some repeat, uh, repeat counter times nested in here. Let's go for that. So loops. Repeat counter. We're going to throw four of these in. Four. All right. And then the first thing that he needs to do is move forward. Uh, yeah, action group. And then he needs to get nectar from the flower. He needs to move forward again, and then make honey. All right, and then after he does that, he needs to turn right. We'll do that down here. And then we need to increase the counter, so we're gonna go into variables and change counter by one each time it repeats the loop. So we'll run it. Ooh. All right, continue. Bubble nine, do you recognize this staircase pattern? I do. I do recognize this staircase pattern and it's painful. All right, so we're gonna do, this is gonna be very similar to the way we solved the last coding puzzle. Uh, first thing we need to do is create a counter variable and then one, two, three. We're gonna do a repeat three and we're gonna create a pattern here. Loops, we're gonna use this one, two, three, four times. So might as well go ahead and drag those out here, whoops. And then he'll need to turn right in the middle of that. So I'll go ahead and throw that in there. And the first thing he needs to do is move forward to get to that flower. Once he gets to the flower, he's going to get nectar. And then when he moves forward again, he's going to make honey. Because he'll be right here. And then he needs to turn left. Yeah. And we're going to change the counter by one so that when it repeats the loop, it'll do everything an extra time. Uh, where is that? Here, change counter by one. And that should get it. All right, okay. Ooh, this one looks challenging. So basically a similar thing to what we just did, except we've got one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four sides, so we're gonna repeat four. But first let's set up our counter variable. Then I'll repeat four. And then while path ahead, we'll use that this time. Uh, loops, while path ahead. 
move forward. And then we're going to use two repeat counter times. Go ahead and pull those out of the toolbox. And in between those, we'll need to turn right and move forward. So let's get that going. And then uh, the first thing he needs to do each time, he because he encounters the flower first, so he'll need to get nectar from the flower here. And then after turning right and moving forward, he'll be on a honeycomb. So he needs to make honey. And after he makes honey, we need to change the counter by 1 to 3, 3 to 5, 5 to 7, by 2. So we'll throw that down here, change counter by 2. Am I forgetting anything? I almost feel like I'm forgetting something, but I think I should have it. So far, so good. Come on, B. Don't let me down, B. It's the last bubble, B. Come on, B. Must think, and we're golden. Okay, finish. Cool. Most excellent, guys. All right, I had fun with that one. It was challenging in the end, but those first few bubbles were actually very easy. Variables are fun to use. Hope you had as much fun as I did. I will catch you later.